Good Friday morning to you, Central Alabama. A live look outside. Dark and early sun up at 657. Winds of change behind a cold front. Temperatures down into the upper 50s, currently in Birmingham. P.S. Yesterday afternoon, a new record high at Birmingham Shuttlesworth International, 90. So tumbling temperatures, that's really the theme as we rock and roll into the weekend. Okay, red flag warning in place and for good reason. I know a lot of you saw some rainfall, but it just wasn't enough to put an end to the drought. So red flag warning in place, meaning no burning outdoors whatsoever with that north northwesterly wind. Very dry wind continuing to cut across the state, gusting up and over 20 miles an hour at times. So currently, good morning to you, mid 50s and Coleman 55, 56 right now in Jasper, Hamilton checking in at 54 and Clanton 60. I want to walk you through uh, the hour by hour forecast. Temperatures do rebound, but not nearly what they were the past few days. Uh, more like the upper 60s, lower 70s at best later on this afternoon. Decreasing clouds, lots of sunshine, and then tomorrow morning, downright cold. Going to stop the clock at 11 tonight. Upper 40s, low to mid 50s from Coleman to Alabaster. And blue means cold. And it's going to be cold for this time of year. Some areas will dip into the upper 30s across uh, north central Alabama first thing Saturday morning. Big football game. Texas A&M and Alabama. It's a home game. 2.30 kickoff. And you can watch it right here on CBS 42. Temperatures right around 70 for kickoff. Auburn at home. Kickoff time is 5 o'clock. Temperatures in the mid to upper 60s. Final whistle to those temperatures still in the mid 50s. Okay, cold on Saturday and Sunday morning. Temperatures in the lower 40s. And then we get back into the mid and upper 70s Sunday into Monday. All right, we've got Ashley out on the road. In fact, Ashley's at the Talladega Super Speedway on this Friday morning. Hey there, Ashley. Good morning, Michael, and good morning, Central Alabama, live from Talladega. Maybe the envy of a lot of folks in Central Alabama this morning. I am live from Victory Lane, and that's because we have a winning forecast. That's why they let me on Victory Lane this morning. It is going to be a beautiful weekend. Campers have already started rolling in earlier this week. I saw them even early this morning. You guys know how early I get up in the morning, and I saw campers rolling in on this Friday. Let's jump ahead to race Saturday, the big race. Here's a look at that forecast. Temperatures should be in the mid 50s at night o'clock jacket weather as you kick off the day sunshine and 70s. I tell you what the fans, the drivers, everyone is loving this forecast and let's talk a little bit about some behind the scenes elements of race week and joining me right now Elton Sawyer. He is vice president of technical inspection and officiating for the race. Now a question that a lot of fans want to know you inspect all the cars before the race. What's one of the things the drivers try to get away with on race weekend? <laughs> well, first of all, thanks for having me this morning. But there's a laundry list. There's about, uh, I would go 20 things that they'll be working hard on this weekend. You know, Talladega is all about aerodynamics, so they're going to be pushing the, the envelope on all the aero parts of the car. Very good. Well, thank you so much for joining us early this morning, Elton. And, and we look forward to having everyone out, out here in Talladega for race weekend. Now we'll send it back to you.